Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is the moment you've been waiting for. My honest review on the new Garnier Fructis Curl Treat Stylers for curly hair. These three right here have caused a lot of commotion, okay? This is a big deal because as you may know, a lot of the Garnier Fructis products usually contain sulfate and silicone. That is something that I personally try to avoid in my products as many of you curly people as well. So the fact that Garnier finally released something sulfate paraben silicone free is like a huge deal for the curly hair community. I was like, yes, thank you for listening to what we really want. Now I know I'm a little late to reviewing these products, but honestly I was kind of on the fence if I even wanted to review them. As some of you may know, I really only like to review products that I love and put all my favorites on my channel. That way I could say, hey, it was on my channel, it's good to go, and it's Bianca Renee approved. But then some of you guys are like, get mad at me that I'm only doing things that I like, but I'm like, if it's not good, it doesn't deserve a spot on my channel. But you know, I get it. You wanna see the bad stuff too. I might, might start incorporating some things that I'm not that fond of, but hey, we're gonna start off with these guys. First things first, all these products are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. But does that mean that they are curly girl friendly? Technically, no. If you guys are strictly following the CG method, the smoothie and the butter do contain beeswax, which is on the no-no list in the Curly Girl manual book. I do plan on doing a full video on the Curly Girl method to break down all the rules and regulations so you can really have a better understanding. But uh, yeah, just a heads up on these two, the jelly does not. All these products are 10.5 fluid ounces and they tell you exactly who should use each styler and how to apply them on the bottles. These products are available at Target and the best part about them is their price. They're only $6.99. So they are a very affordable silicone sulfate paraben free product. Now in other videos that I've watched, a lot of people like to cocktail these together. I personally never really cocktail. I'm trying to do it more often, but I really am a one product type of girl. So that's what I'm going to do in today's video. I'm going to show you how each product works all on its own, one at a time, refreshing every day. And now it's time to begin the curly trials. Victim number one is the Garnet Fructis Curl Treat Butter Hydrating Styler. But it says for normal to coarse hair. So I noticed that a lot of people in their comments were saying like, well, what's normal? Like, what does that mean? Like for me, my curls are, are normal to me. So I guess that just means that you're not on either end of the spectrum, like you're not fine. <laughs> I mean, girl, you're still fine, but like you don't have fine hair or coarse hair. It's just like in the middle, normal. So to be completely honest, this isn't even a real first impression for me. I have been trying all these products throughout the week and I did not like this one. This one was way too thick for my hair. As you can see, this ain't going nowhere. This is thick. Like, look at this. This, it's like, Bruh, what? So thick. But I can't really be mad at it because it says for normal to coarse hair. It does not say for fine hair. So if you buy a product that is not made for your hair, I mean, you can't really be that mad at it because they didn't say it was for you. But I'm gonna apply it anyway because I have another test to try out today. The first time I tried this product, I noticed some very large flakes on my scalp, right? Hear me out. So then I went on YouTube and I watched a couple more videos and a lot of people said they experienced flaking. And I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was something like new that I used, maybe the rice water rinses. But then I was like, wait a minute. I experienced flakes too. So this is actually a flake test for me. I wanna give this another try and see if this is what caused me to get a very, very flaky scalp. So what does this smell like? It kind of smells like glue. Now a nice little tip that I got from my friend India, this was also too thick for her hair, but she says she uses it as a hair mask because it's so thick, so she leaves it on and then rinses it out. But if she didn't rinse it out, it'd be a problem. So I could try it like that way too, maybe as a mask, but I don't know, I'm getting more of like a greasy vibe than a moisturizing vibe. Smoothing it down. All right. 
Okay, so now I honestly hate doing my hair at nighttime. It's probably 10 or 11 p.m. So I'm not gonna be able to show you how this dries tonight or I'll be up until four in the morning. Now let me prove to you how clean my scalp is right now. Take a good look. No flakes. We are starting off on a very clean scalp. So now if we see any flakes tomorrow, we know who the culprit is. So I'll be back in the morning to refresh with a new product for day two. It is now day two. I went to the gym this morning and I put my hair into a pineapple, but let's see how it looks for day two. Yeah, this is kind of what I expected. Ugh, definition is not there. It's not looking good. But like I said, I've already tried the butter all on its own. I just didn't like it for my fine hair. And the main test that I wanted to check was if I had any buildup. So let's get in there, shall we? So let's get a good look at my scalp. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there is some flakes. Oh, there it is. See all that? That's some flakage. We don't want no flakes. And that was me being pretty generous on just my hair and actually trying to kind of avoid my scalp. Yeah, that build up right there, it's not okay. So the butter is gonna be a pass for me, but I still wanna try to save this because if anybody could refresh some curls, it's me. So let's try to refresh this using another one of the Garnier products. So I'm gonna shake it out. Now I'm gonna add some water to refresh these little ugly parts. Oh, that was another thing. I don't like how it feels when I refresh. It's like, <laughs> wow, it just feels like there's a lot of product. Oh yeah, that's weird. If I had to describe it, it's like when you were a kid and you'd go down the slide in the park and it was really hot and you were sweaty and you had shorts on. It was kind of, kind of like that feeling on my hair. Alrighty, so for day two, I'm gonna use the Garnier Fruity Style Curl Treat Smoothie Defining for fine to normal hair. Now this one is actually claiming to work on my fine hair. So that's already a good sign. Sulfate paraben silicone free. Now this one is also creamy, but not as crazy thick as the butter. So to give you a comparable consistency, I'd say maybe like the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. It smells like it wants to smell like maybe coconut or avocado, but it kind of just smells like a product. It doesn't really have a smell. So I'm gonna apply this everywhere. Whew, okay. So now we're gonna see how this dries. I'll come back and diffuse, and hopefully we get some good results. Whew. All right, here we are. So I definitely got some more volume today now that I styled it. Little frizzy, we got some frizz parts over here. This part looks defined. This inner part could use some, some extra work. So I have noticed that when I use these products, I kind of feel like there's product on my hands. Like just from touching it, I feel like a little bit of a residue. So I like my results, but I'm not blown away. It doesn't make me really anxious to grab it again. But my curls do feel very soft. There's absolutely no crunch at all. I prefer a little bit more hold, but I think that's where the gel is gonna come in tomorrow. So now I'm gonna put my hair up and away in a pineapple. Hopefully we have a better refresh day tomorrow when I try the gel. And we're back on our final day to now test the Garnier Fertis Style Curl Treat Jelly Shaping. This is for all hair types. So this is how I slept with my hair in a pineapple, of course, taking it down after the gym. All right. This is what we're working with for our refresh day. These curls 
don't look too bad. I'm just going to do a little mist over those. The main area we want to refresh are the ugly straight pieces. All right, so now I'm going to grab the jelly. Let's open it up. This one has the best smell out of all three of the stylers. This one smells more sweet and like fruity. But here's a little consistency test. It's a weird jelly. So it's not called a gel. It's not called a souffle, but it really is like a jelly like that you'd spread on a bagel. So I'm gonna grab, you know, about that much. It's a really weird, creamy consistency. Very goopy. And I'm going to refresh the inner curls. All right, this feels really good, very promising. Uh, this one didn't really leave as much as like a weird feeling on my hands. I like how it feels so far, but with any type of gel, souffle, or jelly, I personally am looking for a good hold. So I'm hoping to come back with a little bit of crunch so that I can diffuse with confidence. Okay, my hair actually dried pretty fast, so it was maybe like 30 minutes, but it does have a nice little crunch like I like. So here's how it looks, very defined. You guys should probably hear the crunch, listen. Some of you are gonna hate that. Some of you hate when your curls are crunchy. I don't mind it because I'm gonna scrunch it out and I'm gonna diffuse it, it's gonna look amazing. So right now I think it looks great, very defined as you guys could see. Super little spirals. I don't know what this one's doing. This one's like a little headpiece. Bianca Renee, how am I help you? Now, since I have very fine hair, I actually like how my hair feels right now. It doesn't feel extremely moisturized per se. Like I said, it does have a little bit of that crunch, but that is how I'm able to get this volume. If you have very dry or damaged hair, you might think that the jelly is too drying. So that is exactly how we got to this point right now. Overall, I have to say that the jelly by far is my favorite styler out of the three. The butter is just too thick for me. The smoothie probably could work, but I really want that hold and definition, so I'd go for the jelly. But I really wanna know, what do you guys think? Based off of what you saw in this video, leave your opinion down below. But if you also have already bought the curl treats, definitely leave a comment saying which product you bought and your curl type and how well it worked for you. If you enjoy my curly hair product reviews, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And you always can get sneak peeks of what I'm going to be reviewing next if you follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram story at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.